Today we are going to highlight an important topic about diabetic food and it is prepared by Dr. Ashraf Nagar. Is it important? Yes, of course, if you know that 20% of diabetic patients will be hospitalized at least once in their lifetime with food problems, 25% will develop ulcer on their feet, and 45% of all major amputation are caused by diabetic food syndrome. What is a diabetic food? It is a food abnormalities caused by neuropathy, angiopathy, and infection in a diabetic patient. Diabetes causes two main problems. The first one is neuropathy, sensory, motor, or autonomic. Sensory neuropathy causes loss of pain sensation, and motor neuropathy causes abnormalities in the small muscle of the foot, causing deformity. The other problem is angiopathy, which is either microangiopathy or macroangiopathy. Both neuropathy and angiopathy cause food infection. So how can we manage this problem? It is a multidisciplinary approach and all have contribution. Management first include patient education by control of glucose level, regular food examination and food protection. The second step is pressure reduction by external pressure offloading. The third step is control of infection by giving intravenous antibiotic for gram positive, gram negative, and any ropes, surgical drainage, deprivement, and amputation if needed. The fourth step is assessing and improving vascularity, and this includes investigation by duplex ultrasonography and CT angiography. Revascularization by endovascular angioplasty as a first option strategy or by open bypass surgery which still remains a gold standard. The last step is wound care by maintenance of antibiotics, dressing, promotion of granulation. Antibiotics should be prescribed for two to four weeks for soft tissue infection and from four to six weeks of antibiotic therapy for bone infection. Thank you for your attention, good luck, and see you in the next lecture.